Anyway, um, I'm gonna probably whip out the net. Okay. Why is there a jar? You put that there. <laughs> God, not the cum jar. <laughs> yeah, no, mine was the one that was over here. <laughs> Zito's gonna lose his mind by the end of the night purely by my comments. <laughs> I don't even remember putting that there, honestly. Every nope. map, Zito, I'm gonna put a jar somewhere and it's gonna be camouflaged. Make a little game out of it. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh shit, the salsa's back. And Maria is going to spend her action blathering like it sounds like she's reciting something from memory that's been drilled into her through some uh horrible lessons of all the things that she said this seems like the most reliable she's talking about uh closet and demon traits she just spouts them off fairly quickly things like they can see perfectly in darkness um the uh, they can the, this particular type of demon can turn invisible. It is absolutely immune to every kind of poison and uh, electrical damage. They're resistant to acid, cold, and fire. Um, they need either cold iron or good iron or uh, good aligned weapons to bypass their damage reduction. They have fast healing, so every uh, the longer the fight goes on, the more they heal. Um, what else? Oh, and their claws are poisonous. Gentlemen, it was an honor serving with you. Rob, what would you like to do with your surprise? You're standing right there in perfect range for you to cast one of the spells I know you have. <clears throat> you know, I think the GM wants you to Probably. do something. Yeah, I think he wants you to cast Glitter Dust. <laughs> so oh, he can't know it. That's a really good idea. My goodness. You're you're so brilliant. It's so good having such an accomplished wizard around. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I'm kissing my own ass, really. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, glitter dust. What does that look like? A cloud of golden particles covers everyone and everything in the targeted area. Ten foot radius. Goes... Glitter, baby. And, uh, yeah, it also sticks to it, um, causing creatures to become blinded and visibly outlined. Here's the will save for the quasit versus blind. Fails. The quasit is blind. <laughs> so, for those of you who are unfamiliar with blind, blind is one of the best uh, statuses that you can inflict on an opponent uh blinded the creature cannot see obviously it takes a minus two penalty to armor class and loses any dexterity bonus to ac and also takes a minus four penalty on most strength and dexterity based checks uh so what you're saying is now my time to shine uh you will get automatic sneak attack on everything as long as it's still blind of the initiative order. The Quasit screams in agony over having glitter in its eyes and everywhere. Um, and it is... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it will, uh, not realizing that it is covered in glitter, because it's blind, so it can't tell, it will waste its action by trying to turn invisible uselessly, and then fly in a random direction. That direction will be determined by a roll of 1d8. It will fly in a straight line, and will be starting in this square and going around clockwise. I just realized we just flashbang this thing. You're welcome. Dude, so this thing is going straight into the wall. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Yeah, so it's... It is Sir. still visible, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it is your turn, and uh, as soon as you kicked in the door, fucking hell broke loose. By some miracle, when you kicked in the door, glitter erupted onto the enemies. 
So and lasted for all two seconds. Yeah, you you have your your full round ahead of you. What uh, what do you think you're gonna do? Alrighty. Well, I think I'm gonna move up to here. Um, and from about here, I, I'm just gonna go for a point blank shot. Sounds good. Move and shoot. Solid choices. Um, oh yeah, you don't have a grit point, do you? I do not. Too bad. It's a regular shot. Oh, we'll just kill and you'll get your grit point back. So you back. rolled a 12 to hit it? Yeah, I, uh, let me see here. Did it take into... Oh, uh... Yeah, I took the plus six, I think. Actually, you know what? Um, let's go back for a second. It yep. flew into the wall, uh, which means it dropped prone. Now, in addition to it being able to see with it prone, it actually gets plus four. Like, you, you actually get a minus four to hit it. Oh, shit. So, yeah. Um, Not what sure what you to do, do you, you have, like, I generally, I assume that, like, generally, this is what I assume, that you have your pistol in one hand and your sword in the other hand. Is that fair to say? Yeah, let's roll with it. So you can just charge it with your sword. Fuck it, wee ball. There you go. <laughs> you can charge to right there. All right, and, so that's just uh, a regular sword, short sword D20. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, you get a bonus to hit it with uh, uh, from the charge. You get a bonus to hit it from the uh, from it being prone. You hit. You absolutely hit. Um, and here's where um, I get to take the wind out of your sails. You didn't do enough damage to bypass its reduction because your weapon is not made of cold iron. So it is what it. it is. You hit it and you realized, oh, that's what she meant. <laughs> when Mario was talking about your weapon needing to bypass its damn reduction. Oof. I a have a question sure. for future. <laughs> so I know I have lay on hands. And I'm not that well versed in D and D, so I don't know how it works. I'm well versed in the you know shitty World of Warcraft side about how healing shit works. Mm -hmm. So it would lay on hands to a demon. Would that damage it, or still be not? That like, just heals it. Yeah. Damn it! It's, it's undead. Uh, only that can hurt. undead. Yeah. There are other. Really... There are other unique, specific creatures which are damaged by positive energy, but by and large, it's just undead. Okay. Yeah, unfortunate. Damn it, I can't actually be a holy gun right now. Although, for you, they're really evil? easy to craft. Uh, no. Fuck. He uh, he wasted his uh, grit point when his gun broke. Oh, it takes grit to smite evil now? Uh, for, for his particular uh, archetype, yeah. Uh, it is now Mr. Eric Frog's turn. And the closet is, uh, is quite a, a squeaky little ball of demonic energy. So... Yeah. Grab it, stick, and twist it. Uh, well, it doesn't have one of those. Grab it, tit, and twist it. Well, I mean, this is Lamash you were talking about. Oh, God. About. <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure out, because I am 40 foot away. Mm -hmm. Um, I gotta get within, I at least gotta get 30 foot. Somehow, thir I gotta get within 10 foot of this thing to use my net. Well, um... There is, this is an unconventional tactic, but you can use it. You could take a double move and enter its square. Because it's tiny sized, it doesn't actually threaten the squares around it. Okay. So it can't hit you just for doing that. And then when it's its turn, um, it could actually provoke an attack from you. Or you could do, like, a charging grapple. So you could, like, try and pile onto it and just grab onto it. Okay, I think I'm just going to go up to it using a double. Sure. If you want to enter its square, you can. You take no penalty okay. for doing that. This quaz is going to learn that Three out of four people enjoy gangbangs. Right. Uh, also, when you are in its square threatening it, 
you count as flanking everyone in every square. It's uh, that's one of the downsides of being tiny size. You don't want to get muscled in on. Okay. Maria. Uh, Maria is going to take a five foot step and begins casting a summoning spell. That is her turn. Then it is the Sin Spawn. It uh, does not have a clear line to charge, so it's just going to move and attack with its bite against Mr. Frog. Yay. Plus three. You are on the stairs, right? Okay, so it gets a higher ground bonus against you. I'm assuming the stairs are no... Or where I'm at on the stairs are no taller than ten foot, so... I mean, the walls in here are 40 feet tall. Yeah. yeah. They are pretty tall. It's almost like it was made for a flying enemy. Yeah, yeah. Almost, yeah. Or, you know, to be cathedral-like. Uh, that's a 22. I'm pretty sure that's going to hit you. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so you... This is the first time I've actually hit with this thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, you need to make a will oh, save. No, something hit me oh, earlier. Yay. 14. Okay, you pass. You are not overcome with sinful feelings. Won't be the first yeah. time. How much was the damage? Was it D6? Yeah, just D6 plus one. Not too bad, unless I roll maximum. Which I almost did. Six damage from its disgusting bite. Yeah. It goes blah, 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 with its tongue. Uh, lapping up the blood quickly like some kind of strange insect. <laughs> Zola. It's what's up to the, you. You hear sounds of combat. What's the command to the... Oh, I press a lot of weird buttons. What's the command to, like, do the weird, like, like, diagonal thing and then, like, go around corners? Oh. so, yeah, while you're, um, you can actually do it while you're holding your character, too, but, um, it's, uh, yeah, you press and, uh, drag, like, hold and drag with the left click, and then you click with the right click to hold a square, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yep, that's about 60 feet. I can hit them from like right there, right? Mm -hmm. I guess that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double move. No, that's that the thing tactical disadvantage that you you guys had from not being able to just rush in in a coordinated breach. It's almost like I said, close the door. And a breach. But if that thing gets up, it's gonna have a real bad time. Uh, is there anything you can or want to do as a swift action? Um. I was. I meant to ask you that too, Frog. You can do it. Uh, like you can have it done now. If there's anything appropriate, you can do as a swift action. You could have done that. Really I can't think of anything. Hand. Oh, no. you know what? Um, I have my. Never mind. That's not going to work. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Zola, did you say you wanted to do anything as a swift action? Yeah, I really got nothing. Okay. Quick, well, quick question. Maria did say that it was immune to poison, right? Immune to poison, yes. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Then next on the initiative is Rob. Everyone seems to almost everyone seems to jump in the room. Can I, is there anything I can target? Uh let's see what you can see. You I can't see anyone. They are okay. Yeah, so you're going to have to get into the room. Um, or at least much, much closer. So you can get, yeah. like, here. Yeah. Can and I see anything if I move there? Yeah, so if you move there, then you can see Zola, you can see the closet, and you can see the Sin Spawn. Oh! Okay. I'm... Yeah. No, never mind. Sorry, I'm good. I'm good. I... I thought I remembered something, but I misremembered. Um, right. Yeah. So. Well, I would probably like to move that the move to that one square you showed, just so I can see things. That thirty yeah. feet there. Yeah. yeah. 
And I'd yep. probably cast Acid Splash on the um, Sith Spawn. Um, too far away. Too Your far away. range on Acid Splash is 30 feet. Oh, okay. Um, you'll need something with a longer range. Uh, oh, you already okay. cast a magic missile. Yeah, I kind of want to keep those in reserve. Yeah. Um, you... I just have Expeditious Retreat, Mage Armor, and Shield. Other than magic oh, missile. now I remember. It was Acid Arrow. That was the one you wanted to take. Yeah. Uh, you could... Uh, well, Acid Arrow is definitely not going to work against the Quasit, because it's resistant to Acid, as Maria said. Um, but yeah. you can take... Uh, you can shoot at the Sin Spawn. It's a touch attack, so it's actually pretty easy to hit with. And because of the height advantage, so he got a plus one to hit Frog because of how high up he is, so he yeah. isn't going to get... Um, Frog doesn't provide cover, so you can uh, you can still hit him. All right, let's do that. Acid arrow is really long range, so yeah, just roll a ranged attack. So two d four damage. Yeah. Oh, you got to roll to hit first. Oh yeah, that, that's that that's would be one d twenty plus three. One d twenty plus three. Yes, I know. Sorry, I'm on this thing. Slash mm -hmm. r space. D twenty. Three. Oh yeah, you hit. Okay. So then that's a two D four acid damage. As a a fairly an arm sized arrow made of acid launches out of your outstretched hand, splashing yeah. onto the Sin Spawn's body, eating okay. through it. Nice. That's nice. Six damage. That's good. Plus, I think it does damage per turn, doesn't it? It does. Um. It okay. let me double check. I can't remember if it lasts for two lasts rounds two or rounds. three. I think it's two rounds. It says one round plus one round for three levels. Yes, so, so two, two rounds, rounds, yeah. So it hits. Um, and does a decent, decent chunk of damage. Okay. All right, cool beat. All right, Next good. is the Quasit, who is no longer blind, but is prone and surrounded. Yeah, bitch, I dare you. <laughs> she does not have many other options and stands up, which provokes attacks of opportunity from Erickson, Frog, and Zola. <laughs> Have at thee, gentlemen. Um, Is there a flanking bonus for all of us because Frog's in that space? <laughs> <laughs> er, of course, Erickson rolled. Well, you didn't confirm the crit. Unfortunately, you rolled a, a one on your confirmation. Oh, no, that's uh, crit damage. Uh, let's see. You are flanking. So you get plus two for flanking. That's 12. Uh, it's standing up, so you still get plus four. Um, I love you, Zito, even if it doesn't do as much damage as I wanted. I don't think that's enough for it to confirm. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, close, but no cigar. You know what? It is what it is. I open the can of worms. I might as well take the ones. Yeah. Or the low balls. Well, you did do a single point of damage, though, so there is that. Yeah! Does a 17 hit? Uh, 17, uh... Oh, no, uh, is that including the bonus for it being prone? Uh, no, just the flanking. Ah, that's a 21. That will hit. Mine's just base. Uh, 14 damage. Wow, that's a good hit. I'm not fucking around. And Frog, you got... Oh, Frog, man. Frog, can you get a plus one from anywhere? Mm. Can I roll to assist him? Oh, wait, you're higher up on the... Oh, no, you're not higher up on the stairs because you're in the same square. Uh... No, what? You could say he was an inch above her. 
That's Maybe three. <laughs> no, unfortunately, you're off by one, man. Oh well. Fuck oh, Christ. That's brutal. That's with the flanking and the prone. That's with flanking and prone. Yeah. Damn. It is what it motherfucking is. Yeah, you said it. I feel useful. So, it stands up. Uh, now what is it going to do? Well, it really doesn't like being surrounded. So you don't have to do this. Um, we could be friends. It, uh, but, guess what? Guess what, Zola? Guess what? What? It doesn't like... know you have combat reflexes and tries to fly away. Dumbass bitch. <laughs> Damn it. Thirteen. Um, that is unfortunate. Even with flanking, that will not hit. So the it will fly over to this square here, and it's also flying up. It is now hugging the ceiling, forty feet up. Oh boy! Bit of a tricky bitch. Not how we wanted this to go. So we got the wings and eight. So it is eight squares up. Uh, oh wait, no. Actually, from here, the uh, the pulpit is ten feet up, so it's actually only six. Uh-huh. It just feels comfortable over by its pearl uh, pool of weird swirling, churning liquid. But that's all it can do because it needed to use all its entire turn on movement, and I don't think it has any good swift actions. No, it just curses at you all in abyssal. Blah, blah, blah. Erickson. Yes. It is your turn. There is a sin spawn ten feet from you. I shoot at him. Let's hope you drop him, because that would get you a grit point. Why Fuck. did you roll minimum for damage? Why? I, I... <sighs> I asked you a question, sir. <laughs> do I can I do I speak abyssal? Let me check. I believe I do. Oh, languages. Uh, sorry, bud. You know, common dwarven and goblin. Fuck. Yeah, you understood. You understand goblins, not demons. Uh, I mean, potato, same potato. thing. <laughs> yeah. I'll, be ra- I'll be racist towards the goblins. Or er, yeah. goblins, demons. There you go. Oh, to and know goblins. your enemy. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately that does not drop it. And I presume you use your move action to reload? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Would you like to take a five-foot step? abso fucking Um, I don't know where to go. I could go to where Frog is. Nope. Well, not yet, because Frog isn't climbing up on the wall yet. Okay. So you can go back, or you can stay stationary. Mm-hmm. Up to you. Oh, let me see here. 15 feet. Well, there's no point in me going up there. I can't even reach that fucker. Yeah. I'll just stay where I'm at, actually. <laughs> just start throwing daggers upwards. <laughs> I, I can't. I can only throw daggers up to, like, 10 feet before I start taking penalties. Yeah, I'll just sit where I'm at. I see no okay. reason to move right now. Mr. Frog. Yeah. Would you like to... What would you like to do? Because there's a sin spawn currently trying to eat your face. <laughs> yeah, um... He's a problem. Okay. I think I'm just gonna attack him, trying to get him out of here. I think that's a good idea. If you climb on the wall, I could probably get up there too. A lot of yep. twelve. Well, with a climb speed, you can five foot step up on the wall. Uh, you hit the sin spawn with your 17, and then you deal six damage with your axe. Nice. That's pretty good, even for a low roll. All right. Thanks. And it is unfortunately still up. All right. And I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Or take my five foot onto the wall. Jolly good, sir. Jolly good. It is Maria's turn, and she finishes summoning, which I believe is close range. 
how many abyssal eagles will you get? Abyssal what now? Fiendish eagles. Eagles? As yep. in Kaka eagles? Okay. As in, yeah. Oh! The dice Perfect. might just be on your guy's side today. See, Zito, this is why we're not bitches. We live and die by the gamble, and it works out for us sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> So, sorry, this is a little bit of a long turn. Um, yeah! Sin Spawn's turn. God, why? Why does it all have to be back to back? Oh. Uh, well, you're on the wall, which is kind of weird, and it doesn't like that. Um, so it's going to attack you, Frog. No. Oh. How about no? Like a fly but it doesn't on the wall. Have, it doesn't have the uh, higher ground bonus now, since you're at eye level. Or mouth level, as I like to call it. <laughs> Yay, mouth to mouth. <laughs> That's what we like to see. He said sarcastically. Uh, is a 14 confirm? I don't think it does. No, mine's 19. Okay, so you'll have to make Ooh. another will save, I believe. Sounds like... Not unless I'm wrong... Well, I made it. Yeah, you made it. And that will be 1d6. So this is another bite, another chunk. It's making some serious progress eating your face. Oh no, this one was only a graze. It just slapped you lovingly with its spiky tongue. Ouch. Yeah. Ugh. It's going to give you some aggressive loving, buddy. Uh, <laughs> And uh, Claw will miss. And 19. Does that hit you? Uh, 19 is my AC. Oh, that will hit then. And you will you yeah. uh, will be clawed with its big, big boy claws. For 3 damage. Okay. And then it will back up because it's starting to feel a little intimidated. Fuck. Solo. All right. Well, I guess I'll just make my happy walk my happy ass over here, and I'll give him the shanks. Give him the shanks. Wait, what am I doing? I can. I don't have any like modifiers for this. I can just press the button. What? Ah, uh, you failed to dag. Oh. Well, that's about it. That's all I got. That's unfortunate, but it was a good effort, and it could have been, could have been very, very good. Yeah, hey, I'll be like ten minutes in the next turn, so hopefully then. Rob, uh, oh right, acid. You get to roll your acid damage again. I roll it. Yep, you just roll it. Because it's uh, it's burning on the sin spawn. Or I roll. I'm sorry. Two D four. Say again. Oh, two D four again. Yep. Okay. Oops. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. Wrong one. You think we yeah, can right. change his initiative? Ah. All right. No. Um, no. He would yeah, have been no, able to okay. go again to meet me. Ah. Nice. This one is. It is disabled. It is at zero hit points. Nice. Okay. Um, you still have your full turn. That was just your acid doing its job. Yeah. Um, so, yes. um. Let's see. Let's where see. can you. So so where I can see so the those little. Um... Uh, you can move there, and then, yeah, you'd be in range to hit it with an acid splash. Okay, that sounds good. Do that. Let's do that. That's what I was thinking. I was trying okay. to move into the room, not too brazenly, but yeah, if, somewhere um, where I can see it and do an acid splash. If it's yep. disabled and Vulcan fully kills it, does that get his crit point back? Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, you're also within range to attack the Quasit. Now, the Quasit is resistant to acid. Um, yeah. 
let's say you have another magic missile prepared. How about that? Since we didn't prepare your stuff properly, and you knew you were going into a dungeon, so... Yeah, so I probably have to, I mean, I could, like, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so you can hit it with both missiles for 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2, that's a lot of damage. That's a pretty good amount. Yeah. It's at least one. Apparently more Vulcan's least... done so far. <laughs> oh! Oh! <Yeah. laughs> oh! The That's wizard's it. coming in with the clincher. Him and his good rolls when we get some. Right? Dealing everybody's luck. I wonder if that's his secret master plan. Maybe. See, that's a trick. <laughs> it's it's a it's a roulette of who gets all the high numbers every right. session. Last week it was me. The Vulcan got kind of lucky and got two or three. Um, now it is the Quasit's turn, um, who is unfortunately still covered with um, uh, glitter, and so uh, and is also sighted. So now realize that that is uh, useless. It is. Um, currently being attacked brutally by a bunch of eagles, it's going to move a little bit. It's going to technically five foot fly back over here. And it is going to cast Hold Person on Zola. Okay, let me see my will save. It's a will save, right? Uh, it is. Fuck. Uh, it is a paralysis effect, I think. 18? Oh, 18 definitely passes. So you have negated one of its most powerful spells with a single saving throw. Good on you. Fuck yeah. I didn't even have to use my ability. Erickson, there is a sin spawn right in front of you at death's door. If you manage to kill it by stepping forward five feet into this square Done. and shooting it, you can get a grit point back. Don't fuck it up. Why you say that? Never mind. You got it. With a single point, you have redeemed yourself and gotten that your is grit point back. like the third one in a row I've gotten. That is scary. <laughs> oh, you're At just getting rid of the ones that you don't need. It's like XCOM logic. I get all the shitty rolls out of the way now. There you go, man. Uh, and I presume you use your move action to reload? Yes. Every, uh, unless I say otherwise, just automatically do that. Yeah, because you have an evil outsider to shoot over here. Uh, if yeah. you recall I mean, evil. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he can reach it. The pistol's got like 20 foot range. I'll probably move next turn before I do that then. Just in yeah. case. It's also 60 feet in the air. <laughs> uh, No, no. It's only 30 feet in the air. It's six squares. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't know why I do that. It's, it is what it is. Uh, But it might not be there for long because it's Frog's turn. It's still gonna be there. Um, <laughs> crawl up there, Shoot. frog boy. So, forty feet in, or what? Thirty feet in the air. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five feet. So, oh, this ground here is ten feet above this ground. From here to here. Yeah. So it is currently 35 feet above you a lot of feet um yep. yeah that's practically if I a fighter <laughs> so if i move five foot here okay so that's ten never mind so i'm just gonna move here yeah i'm gonna move there that's ten and then move up 30. 30 is... I'll keep the axe out for now. I think I'm good. 
Okay. Maria directs the eagles to try again. Yeah! Maria moves right underneath it. And when get, when she gets there, realizes she's still not going to be able to reach. But she'll think of something. I'm sure she will. I mean, she always <laughs> does. Zola. All right, so uh, the only thing I would be able to have to even re try remotely hit this thing is pulling out my short bow. So what would that be to swap out my daggers for the short bow? Action con wise. Um... It's a free action to drop the daggers. Yeah, I was going to say, I might as well just do that too, because I have six of them. Yep. So if I do that, can I pull my bow and try to shoot it? You absolutely can, yep. Alrighty, you can even and... take a five-foot step if you want to. Yeah, sure, why not? I frog. The one Alrighty. upsies. Alright, and then this doesn't include the penalties for shooting into melee. Doesn't matter. A valiant effort. Rob. I mean, I can do is reach. Yeah, there's there's not a whole lot you can do, unfortunately. Um, right. Oh, you know what you can do? To make sure it doesn't escape, just go over and close the doors. <laughs> <laughs> Last one alive, lock the doors. My original you plan comes full circle. Yeah, unless yeah. I might as well go over and close doors, prevent it from escaping down the hallway. There you go. I think technically you can do it from the same space as the doors. So, well, yeah, we'll just deal with that issue when it comes out of the up. range of the thing anyway. So I'm okay with this. Yep. And it is the Quasit's turn who, at the end of this turn, will no longer be glittered. Oh boy. There you go, guys, with the net. Might want to toss that net. Honestly, that's I'm kind of the working on it. You can do right now. The rest of us are kind of fucked. Hmm. Well, it's currently being assaulted by eagles, which it really doesn't like. It's going to take the chance. It's going to start casting a spell. Mm. And the eagles can't actually do anything about it unless they roll a crit. So each one of them gets an attack of opportunity. Just crit fishing. Actually, I can roll 3d20, so it's a little faster. What are you doing? Uh, it's not going to be done casting until next turn. So, Erickson. Time I'm to murder. going to look up your smiting shot. Holy gun. Alrighty. So, I'm going to move to here. Gotcha. And I will use smiting shot. Jolly good. Roll pistol. Best of luck, sir. Got speed. Uh, this is a touch attack. You hit. Thank God. So that is four on the die plus your seven is eleven, which, if I'm not mistaken. Destroys it by one. Oof. It's dead. Oh, thank God. It falls to the ground, bleeding from a uh, glowing golden wound, which Just seems to be slowly healing. Yeah, I was going to say, as soon as combat ends and it falls on the ground, I'm going to go slit its throat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can just, uh, yeah. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna cut you the whole head off. That. I'm gonna. You know I'm what? Cut I'm just the whole gonna head take, off and throw I'm it. I'm an executioner. Room. I'm just gonna take my axe and executioner style. Yeah, you there know, you, you get the head, I'll get the limbs. I can't cast it's without the, hands. It's the good old-fashioned uh, dungeon standby. Mutilate the bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, 
Don't you open that door yet. Uh, <laughs> I was going to do a perception check. So that closet wasn't actually just a closet. It also had three levels of witch. Fuck that. That's why it was so strong. <laughs> what? What? Sounds uh, like fun. Just a moment. So. What's on the body? Uh, on the body of the uh, mutilated closet, you find a magical dagger, a uh, the uh, rather fancy doll-sized tiara it was wearing, which looks to be worth some money, uh, a black silk gown, which, uh, again, seems to be doll-sized, but is very finely made. That's probably worth some money. And you also find a uh, flint-napped obsidian unholy symbol of Lamashtu, which is also probably worth a little bit, if only to be, um, you know, taken in by a church to be destroyed. Uh, what is it to identify any magical items we have? I'm not going to use any magical item unless I know what it is. I play Baldur's Gate. Well, detect magic is uh, is uh, a cantrip for the wizard. The wizard can make a spellcraft check on the uh, on the magic item to identify it, to attempt to identify it. Okay. Well, that's a that's my spellcraft ability. I don't remember. Pretty high. You're a crafting wizard. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the praise was, I have a praise also. <laughs> well, Erickson, <laughs> you have successfully passed on your shit luck. Hell <laughs> yeah. I have no idea how much those are worth, clearly. Can you identify them? Because we could probably assume by the enchantments. If this uh, thing's like Blessed Blade Fury of the Wind Seeker plus five with a fucking transformative property, I guarantee you that's going to sell for a lot. So you know that it is a plus one dagger. It is tiny sized. It is made of cold iron. So that on its own means it is extremely expensive because cold iron is particularly difficult to enchant. It takes an additional 2,000 gold pieces of magic item components just to enchant cold iron weapons. Just so you know, when you're out of combat, Rob, you can take 10. Yeah. You didn't need to roll okay. any of those. You could have just taken 10. Okay. Probably. Would you, li I would you like to do that? Probably. <laughs> okay. Seven, six, and seven. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's actually a plus one returning dagger. Whenever you throw it, uh, it will come back to the uh, to where you threw it from. It uh, you can uh, catch it as a uh, free action when it uh, teleports, or no, when it flies back to your space. Um, or if you're not there because you've moved, it will just fall in that square. Okay, good enough. I don't have much use for returning daggers. Do you boys? I have six daggers on me. Okay, well, swap one. It's too, so I small. can't. It's too small it's for me to size. use. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's too small for now. We might be able to fix that in a bit. But We do uh, not have 2,000 gold, I'm telling you that right now. It is a plus two weapon that's made of cold iron. So just so you're aware, this weapon is worth at least 10,000 gold. It's like... One or two more than we have. <laughs> it's also going to cost us money to make actual use of this thing. Yeah, but it will be worth. Like it, it could very much be worth it to have the have one of those around. Considering that, um, if someone were to be fighting with daggers and want to uh, throw one, um, they can actually intermix uh, melee and thrown weapon attacks. That is fine. Anyways, before I have a, a fucking ulcer, 
Um, I would like to perceive this door for traps. Okay. Before we open it. Here's the perception. This you does not appear bitch. to be trapped. <laughs> it hang on 17 for so long. <laughs> um, I'll yeah, just take a little look. Trapped. I'll take a look as well. Oh, why do you doubt your the confidence of your friend who barely looked at the door? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is why I sometimes wonder if I should even let players do perception checks because they just know they missed something. When you're I'm doing an active perception. perception. Check <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you looking at the floor? Like, what are you? What are you perceiving? <laughs> you're forty feet Anything away, Vulcan. I fucking miss. You know, I'm moving to the door. Okay. You, I'm <laughs> sorry. You're actually fifty feet away from the door. Okay, you can roll perception too. Frog, you don't hear, uh, hear, see, perceive anything uh, untoward in any way. Uh, Vulcan, you notice that your shoe's untied and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to open the door and walk in. Okay. Make a death saving throw. Right. <laughs> Yo! It is an empty closet that is currently not in use. Did they learn nothing from the glassworks? Why is there just this pointless door? <laughs> it's, I think it's primarily an intimidation factor. Well, if anything has taught me anything, let's go! To the other door! <laughs> oh, we're supposed to be perceiving this door? 17. <laughs> Always 17. check for traps. Because you know uh, yeah. there's probably someone that thought that the second door should be trapped. And you know what? I'm so glad that you're learning because this one is in fact trapped. It uh, and, It is a and... mechanical arrow trap. Alright, I'm gonna disable device. Yep. Wow, 25. not only... Uh, you actually beat the DC by 10, which means you can actually... Um, not just disable this trap, but you can actually uh, remove it and sell it for parts. Yay! It's just like Frog um, goes up to the door. It's like, all right, we got this. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, it's trapped. I told you. <laughs> Give me one second. I pull out a hairpin. I was there. I was so excited just for a little bit there. I was like, I'm I'm so excited. I'm like a little puppy that's about to shit for the first time, you know? Like <laughs> Look, there someone's are someone's going to try and walk into this. It's po it's a poison arrow. There are three <laughs> things I'm good at. Stealth, <laughs> dance, and disable device. <laughs> well, you are done good today. And the reason why it's trapped is because this is a treasure room. Yay. <clears throat> Yay, loot. Dude, I found one of those in Baldur's Gate today and I didn't I didn't pass the trap save. So I got infinitely blown up by fireball traps. That's, oh my god. Oh no. That's fun. <laughs> no, it's not. It's kind of death to the Party wipe. Anyways, what's in here? I'm going to write this shit down before Holy I Holy shit, that's future. a good one. Oh, go ahead and s just put those in chat so I can put them in here. Alright. You got gems. You got masterwork chainmail. You got masterwork leather lamellar. Oh. Uh, you got a 100 gold piece gold symbol to... I wonder if they have a random god generator. But it's gold, and it's finely made. And we'll say that it is for... Oh, you know what? I know the perfect god for this. It's for Lasala. Okay. The salsa comes back? What? La he Sala... says I'm about sauce salsa. <laughs> oh, uh, Salsa's is been in the... this room for a while. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Lasala is a very old god, and you may not know anything more than her name uh, from basic checks. You can make a knowledge religion check um, for anyone who has it trained, or uh, a frog can make it untrained as a as an attempt. 
as a little hint as to where things are going. And there's also an arcane scroll of Mage Hand. You said knowledge religion. Sounds like that. Yep. Yoink. I know wow. something. Yeah, uh, you know that uh, Lasala, you recognize it as um, one of the uh, main deities from 10,000 years ago, ancient Thassalon. She was the uh, goddess of runes. You primarily associated with obedience, rewarding good service, and rune magic. She or he or what? Uh, she. Yeah. Uh, Sounds like uh, Arcane Scroll of Mage Hand? Yep. Sounds okay. Don't have that already. pretty useful. I do have a quick question. So I have two pieces of obsidian in here, mm -hmm. but they are different prices. Yep. So one is prettier. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The set of uh, six silver dice. How did I miss that? So that actually... Uh, Unless I haven't got to that. Wait. Yeah, no, I, the, have, I missed The that. set of six silver dice came in a small wooden box with a... Uh, 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 a small book written in a language you don't understand. However, Rob understands it. <laughs> yeah, you take a quick look at it, and on the front it says, Core Rule Book. <laughs> core Rule <laughs> This appears to be some form of ancient role-playing game. <laughs> Why is Zola okay, crying? <laughs> because I went through this whole dungeon and I did get a single piece of treasure. You got a 10,000 gold piece dagger. Quit your bitching. That I can't hey. use, Zito. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, you found an ancient gun. Oh. I'm joking. You didn't find shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe we traded least, that away for a holy gun. Maybe at least like detect magic to see if what like this thing has like an inkling of what it does. Yeah, Rob, would you like to inspect this strange magical pool on the floor? Sure. Okay, so you focus on it with detect magic, and let's see what happens. Don't you just love it when the DM says something like that? When a ready hack. <laughs> You know what? That's a that's a good idea. Uh, be right here to get a little. Especially since we like watched that. the like weird monster actually, thing come out of the pool. Actually, of... Th th this would probably be flanking. There we go. Wait. You know what? I'll you you um, go. I'll be right here just in case. Rob gets dicked. You get. Uh, you are uh, blinded for. Uh, a moment, uh, about half a minute, by the intensity of this magical aura. This thing is not just us. You know, this is no standard magical item. Uh, this is an artifact of truly ancient and incredible power. And determining its exact effects and how it interacts with things is uh, would, for, shall we say, a lesser mind, be an insurmountable task. But for you and your uh, prolific study of specifically Thessalonian history, you recognize this. You've heard of this before. This is a rune well. Should I should should I drop my like club into it? I look at Rob holding my club. Um, you get the sense that would not be helpful. Okay. So should we <laughs> should we destroy this thing? I mean, it did summon monsters. It is possible to deactivate it. But not destroy it. Destroying it is possible, but it would take far more research and ability than uh, Rob currently has available. We might have to ask Father Xantis about this if it's it evil. summon up any monsters accidentally. Well, uh, the deactivating it is uh, is actually fairly simple. Um, 
you actually need to use the power it has collected because rune wells act like batteries. So what you can do is you can try and do what the demon did, which is bleed into it to summon out a sin spawn. And if you summon enough of them, it will deactivate. <laughs> okay. And are those under my control when they show up? You aren't sure if they're under your control or not. That, that's not that's not promising at all, sir. No, no, it's not. It's a little bit scary, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I we also don't know how many. What's the latest spells here at the moment? I'm gonna look at the wizard and be like, "You want me to do it?" Well, here's the thing. We don't know exactly how many sins spawn that thing still has in terms of charges. It could be one, it could be two, it could be 50. Um, You could all gather around and like ready actions to attack it as soon as it emerges. Yeah, yeah. Well, the problem is we don't know how many times we'd have to do that. Yeah, but you're all still relatively fresh, except Frog, who took some pretty big hits. It'll be all right. Yeah, we have no spells with which to attack it with, except for Acid Splash. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you could just hit it with a club or something. Try a little bit of help. <laughs> Poke it with a stick. Maybe not have the wizard be up front, next to yeah. the well. The thing is coming out of, and have one of us do it. What are you saying? I'm weak or something? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I don't frail. want you to get hurt, darling. Man. You're just uh, frail. Then Maria, she can be somewhere and. Uh, Maybe try and trip it or something, or you know, make it a little easier to hit. All right. Well, first, I'm going to. You might want to heal up first, though. Yeah, and use my cure. Um, I'm use my cure light wounds. Uh, think. You want to cure light wounds, um, Zola? Because you're down by a little bit. I'm 17 out of 23. I, I'm probably gonna be good. I'm fourteen twenty-five, so uh Vulcan, are you good with this plan? Yeah. Okay. Would it be possible to see all of our bars? Um I don't I, know. I think there's a way to do it, but I don't know the specifics. I think you just have to give control. Alright. Well I healed for eleven, bringing me back to full health. Okay. Nice. And Perfect good number. Point. I don't know. I feel good. And what's the damage penalty for bleeding out all over the place? Um, what do you mean? Uh, do I take damage? Oh, um, let me double check. I don't think you actually need to take damage doing it. If so, then that closet should have had damage on them. Uh, fast healing. Oh, that's right. They're also in a cutscene. <laughs> we literally sat there and we watched as this thing looked at us, surprised, and then slid its wrist. Yeah, it's like it's an automatic thing because it was getting ready to do it anyway. Yeah, it's weird. It's yeah, it's one of those triggered event things. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's how it was written. It's for cool. Uh, no one touched the water, right? No. No. Okay, that's good. Because, um, it, like, getting closer to it, you can tell that the deathly cold temperature of this room is coming from that rune well. Okay. And it gets colder and colder the closer you get. Uh, the save well is there. Save changes. That looks about right. Right, oh no, so... yeah. It can be as little as a single drop of blood will cause a sin spawn to uh, emerge. Okay. Um, so what you're saying is the little it... bleeding closet corpse. Uh, you know, we just, might we just work, shake might its not. head over. We just shake its head over it. You know, we uh, tried that first. You can try. Actually, you know what? For science, I poke my finger. Okay. You poke and your it's... finger for science. Because we want to see if we have control over it. Okay. So wait, are you waiting to see what it does? 
Do we want to do that? Uh, I'm writing an action in case another sin spawn comes out. Yeah, but that's what he's doing. He's summoning a sin spawn and seeing if he has control over it or not. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess if it's aggressive, we, we gank it. Just do it. Hi. Hi. Okay, so it emerges, looks around, and immediately attacks Frog. Yep. <laughs> Atrex. <laughs> um, you you may now take your readied actions since you were ready for it to be aggressive. Alrighty. Is it flat footed? Uh it like oh, it's I, acting. I don't think we have to take initiative because you're probably gonna kill it this round. Um so we'll we'll um we'll let you each get off a standard action first. You're supposed to have the advantage here. Plus eight, because flanking. Whip. That'll hit. 24. And you'll get sneak attack on this deer. Mm. 14. That's a good hit. God damn. You uh, stab it in the back and nick an artery, splaying, uh, spraying oddly cold blood onto you. Oh no, does the blood fall on the thing and it summons more of them? It does. Fuck! Two more emerge. <laughs> this is actually the thing in the adventure that didn't make sense and you are you are 100% correct. It's like, wait a second, if you attack this thing and it bleeds, isn't that going to summon all the ones that are left? Yes, that is exactly what happens. I hey, how much that. did the closet bleed into it because it only summoned one? Yeah, uh, it only it uh, the rune well itself can only summon one at a time, so it doesn't summon all of them, just one more, and it emerges right here. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh, you get you guys can still take your standard actions, and then we're gonna take initiative. So, um, frog, since you're flanking. Yay. <laughs> that uh, doesn't include. Doesn't include? Doesn't include? No. Okay, and it is flat footed, so that hits. Sweet. For six damage, I guess. Yep, so that one's done. Uh, need... Erickson, there's a sin spawn right next to you, and uh, you have a grit point to use. Yeah, we're, we're going to do the good old holy gun smite his ass. Okay, now it's not an outsider, undead, or dragon, so your bonus damage will only be plus four. Is what it is. No. That's why I'm going to name this episode, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, Maria misses with her uh, flame. Um, you hit with your pistol, by the way. You're, uh, you're yeah. attacking flat-footed touch AC, so you needed to roll a 10. <laughs> so you do 3 plus 4, I said? 7? So that's pretty good. It's a good hit. Uh, Rob, did you want to like throw a club at it or something? Um, sure, why not? Do you have uh, Acid Splash? Well, oh yeah, I could do acid. I could do acid splash, can't I? Yeah, resist, these things aren't resistant to acid splash. Oh yeah, yeah, good point. Um, before that, Mario is going to uh, roll to aid another. Yeah! Well, she gives you a plus two rub, so you can roll your attack. Okay, one d twenty. Yep, plus uh, three five. You hit. Thank you. 1d3. Do I not get bonuses then? I thought I got bonuses for that for some reason. Not for Acid Splash, no. Okay. Two is Two. still good. So, uh, now, unfortunately, we will have to take initiative. Alright, guys. We're gonna gank these things as soon as they come out. Where's our gunslinger? Meanwhile, there he is at the huh? fridge eating a slice oh, of cheese. I wanted a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> I almost went and did that, you fuckers. 
Almost. <laughs> It's bean and cheese and beefy time. Bean and cheese and beefy time. See, this, that's one of the benefits of playing in person, guys, is the fact that you'll have the snacks with you already. You don't have to get up. Exactly. Well, this sin spawn is right next to the guy who shot it. So, um, guess who he's going to attack? Not the guy who shot him. No way. <laughs> that dude blew my shoulder off. I ain't messing with him. <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, the bite misses you, Mr. Erickson. It flicks its tongue out at you, and you deflect it with your own. Good good for you. Slightly oh, sexual. A claw reach out, reaches out and grabs you in a special place. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Grab his dick and twist it! No, don't twist! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not so funny when it's you, is it? It does not confirm, so it simply, um, shall we say, oh. aggressively caresses your inner thigh. <laughs> I didn't know I could be raped. And then it utterly fails to uh, to uh, land the other claw. So, hey guys, you know what I just kind of realized? Hmm? If if we like do damage to these things and they bleed into the well. And they just summon another one. What happens if there's like 50 of these things? Oh, here we go. Buckle in, kid. We're going in dry. I don't have time for 50 of these. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, he does four damage to you, Erickson. To F. your inner thigh. Not my inner thigh. Specifically my inner thigh. Mm -hmm. Left or oh. right? He, he was going for the twister, but you, know, you managed to move your hips just so. Just in his head, he heard Torig say, Grab his dick and twist it. And he got afraid, and he's like, nudged backwards a little bit, and it just barely missed his dick. And it moves to there so that it can't be flanked easily. Because That's what you think, motherfucker. Intelligent fighter. Well, it doesn't know that the frog can crawl on walls, so come on. <laughs> and speaking of... Mr. Frog. Mm, I guess we'll do just that then. Hippity hoppity, time to dropity. <laughs> exactly. Well. Mm. All right, let me get, I guess, two of them. Sure. And your ground bones. I will attack with my axe. What's the bonus for that? Uh, higher ground is plus one. Okay. That didn't your, help. Your higher ground no, has no. benefited you nothing. Yeah, it's supposed to be eight, but... Yeah. You swing down at it, and it ducks deftly, and your the blade of your axe clangs loudly and jarringly into the stone of the cathedral. Mm. Don't worry, Frog, I got your back. Maria will say, Why aren't you guys hitting it? Hit it! Hit it! It's moving! Stop it! Uh, I take on my attack of opportunity to slap Maria. <laughs> Got five is, of them. That is a four or five. Fair reason. Uh, and it will also attempt to uh, provide a plus two to someone attacking it. And she will fail because she rolled a natural one. Ah, good way to use turn. Rob. That's one. That's the nearest uh, enemy. Yep. One. <laughs> so you're using both of Maria's helps, so that will be plus seven. Plus seven. One D twenty plus seven. Good lord. Yep. All right. Wow, you Dude, needed it. You needed both of them to still fucking miss. Ah. <laughs> right. uh, too bad. Ah, well. It happens. It is what it is. <laughs> you got me. There you go. Ah, uh, Zola. 
time to shine. Are you uh, crouching down so that you're technically flanking with the frog? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, because I'm going to be two weapon flying. That's just plus two minus two. So yeah, yep. that's just going to be six. So there's the first one. And then there's the second one. Oh, the uh, second one will definitely hit. Thirteen. Thirteen. It drops dead. Do you prevent it from falling into the pool? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so the pool has dimmed significantly, um, but uh, Rob, unfortunately tells everyone yeah it's um it's still active probably one more will do it all right everybody get into position assume the position yeah <laughs> assume the position yeah maria stands there and points her last flame at it and let the bleeding commence Boink. here we go oh my god why do i keep losing this thing here's it there it is. Hi, okay. buddy. And uh, with that, the uh, the pool, it's uh, it's churning and it's freezing, steamingness um, uh, dissipates entirely. Since Bond looks up, looks around, and is suddenly glomped by attacks. Um, Eric, uh, we'll let Erickson shoot it last. How about that? Gotcha. Style points, <laughs> just in case. Uh, Frog, how about you take the first swing? Uh, is... I want to talk about it. Does that include flank? No, oh, that's not going to matter anyway. So, uh, wait, no, no, flat-footed. Yeah, you hit. Yeah, yeah, was an 11. <laughs> so that will be five damage, right? Because we're both at the same time. Uh, Maria will try to blast it with a firebolt. Or no, not the firebolt, but the produce flame. It is flaming, And will actually hit for once. She burns a hole through it. Well, singes it slightly. God. Uh, Rob, you gonna try and hit it with acid? Sure. Okay. Uh, Zola, you can do your attack at the same time. Rob, you are rolling <laughs> 1d20 plus 3, but that might not matter. Yeah, because it's already dead. What did they see? Uh, 12. So, yeah, so I think it's dead. So let's let it be. Yeah, you just confirmed a critical. Eighteen. <laughs> it is dead. To say the least. Okay. You guys have successfully deactivated the rune well. Um, Yay. <clears throat> we are coming up on the uh, the end of the session here. Um, deactivating the rune well is actually a like a, a sort of like an optional side quest. And it uh, completing it uh, gives you guys enough experience to level up early. So you guys will actually level up before you uh, finish the dungeon. You're now level four. Cool. It's like the point out, we spent the entire session in this 50 by 30 room. 